Hello from Super Mom's Kitchen. Today's recipe is ripened mango curry. Let's see. You get this uh, Nadan manga, para manga. This is Nadan manga, small mangoes which is found in the villages of Kerala. And you're going to take around eight mangoes, ripe mangoes. Just peel the outer skin. Take five green chilies. Uh, a teaspoon of turmeric and salt and pour water and let it boil and cook for five minutes till it soften the mangoes paramanga curry and we have here to, gr to grind into a paste one cup of grated coconut a quarter teaspoon of jeera that is cumin powder or whole cumin and around six shallots grind all these together into a very fine paste and we are going to do uh, seasoning we're going to take a few shallots and some curry leaves for seasoning and also you can use uh, two or three dried red chilies for seasoning Once we have the uh, have uh, the mangoes cooked, drop in the seasoning and a pinch of ulua fried ulua powder or methi powder. You can say fenugreek powder. Just sprinkle a pinch of it on top after seasoning and have it with rice. It's a wonderful Kerala village dish, paramanga curry mango curry oil put some mustard and season the onions the curry leaves and the dried red chili close it with a lid so that it gets cooked well they are small tiny mangoes So let's splutter the mustard, then drop in the seasoning. So it's golden brown. Uh, this is nearly almost done. We have our seasoning ready. And here we have our coconut paste also ready. Grind it into, into a fine paste with cumin and shallots, onions, small onions. Now I've poured in the round paste. Just heat up really hot. Don't uh, let it boil. And, and, and then next you drop in the seasoning and it's all done to serve. I've dropped the seasoning into it and then yummy ripened mango curry ready. Paramanga curry is all done and ready to serve. So here we have our paramanga curry, the ripened mango curry ready to serve. Hope you enjoy this recipe. I'll be back soon and bye from Sushila. Thank you for watching my video.